so we're in front of the slaughterhouse in Chesky Brod. This is our second vigil here. The last time we came here, we actually managed to speak to the owner of the slaughterhouse and we made a deal that next time we come out here, he's gonna talk to the drivers and let us, you know, say goodbye to the animals, maybe shoot some footage. So he actually, uh, to my surprise, lived up to his word. We had one truck passing by with uh, pigs. So while we're waiting for another truck to pass by, we decided to visit a dairy farm that's nearby. And yeah, on the way here, just like right behind the gate, we, we just passed a dead cow just lying on the floor with nobody giving a fuck about it, just not doing anything about it. Um, you can see they don't have a lot of space to move around. They're just like crampled up into this tiny place next to each other and these are not good conditions. So I had a chance to talk to one of the workers at the dairy farm and ask her about the cause of the cow's death. And turns out that she died while she was giving birth to a baby calf and the baby calf was born dead as well. Uh, the reason for that she claimed was that the cow was too old and her heart just gave up. So after asking her about how old the cow actually was, she said that she was seven years old. Now, I don't know if you have any idea about how, how old cows can actually get while they're in nature, but usually it's something around 25 years. When you think about it, seven years is actually a pretty good age for a cow of the industry. So you can, you can actually say that she was lucky in a way. On the other hand, not so much because the older the cow gets, the more lactation she has to go through, the more pain she has to go through, the more suffering, the more anxiety, the more babies being stolen away from her. And this particular cow passed away after five lactations, which basically means that she had to give birth to five little babies just to have them stolen away from her. Just think about it. They steal the babies from their own mothers shortly after being born if they're male, they get sent to the slaughterhouse for meal meat straight away. If they're female, they just repeat the same cycle over again. They rape them, they force them to give birth, they steal their babies away from them. So you can see how cute this little creature is and it's a boy and that means he's gonna be dead probably probably by the end of this week. I 
fucking broke down and I, I just started crying and I just kept repeating to myself, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I tried to act it out because one of the workers came and I tried not to show, you know, just, just so they wouldn't see what we're actually doing here. But it's hard, you know, it's hard to, <clears throat> it's hard to pretend it's really hard you know because it's it's real this is real this is happening and it's it's not it's not right and you know it and then you're supposed to just shut it off and pretend like everything is okay and talk to these people and it's important to talk to these people and you know be cool but it's hard it's definitely hard these are the ashes of cows that get burned if they die during birth or something like that. They just get burned, otherwise they, they get sent to the slaughterhouse. So the weirdest thing just happened. Um, there was a girl coming up to the slaughterhouse and one of our activists approached her and she was actually coming in for an interview for, for a job at the slaughterhouse. So we tried to talk to her and we actually we actually talked her out of it and we offered help like we're gonna help her get a job we have her email and everything so we're definitely we're definitely gonna help her somehow and she also told us that she's a vegetarian <laughs> and that was very shocking to me and she told us that she felt like that was the last option and like she she was she just felt very desperate and she thought like she wouldn't be able to get a different job for some reason. So it's weird how people just think that they have no options in life. It's so sad to me. I wanted to ask her to maybe, you know, tell something to the camera, but I, she looked a bit frightened, you know, and like overwhelmed by all of this. So I, I didn't want to be rude or anything, but yeah, it was a, it was such a cool experience and yeah, we're definitely gonna help her somehow and everything's gonna be fine. <laughs>